OK, so you're probably familiar with a fitness tracker. They yeah. measure things like your sleep, how much you're working out, your heart rate. Yeah. That's all very useful for giving you insight into your physical health, but those stats can also be used to give you insight into your mental health, something that Fitbit have really focused in on with this, the Fitbit Charge 5. The Fitbit Charge 5 is a £129 wearable that calculates a stress score, thanks in part to a built-in EDA sensor. Now, what this sensor does is that it measures the tiny changes in sweat levels on your wrist, and that is going to give an indication of whether you're feeling stressed in the moment or not. Each reading takes three minutes, and the Fitbit then follows up, asking a few questions about your state of mind. It's asking me, how do you feel? Reflect on your mood after each session. This reading then syncs with an app on your phone which uses other data from the tracker like heart rate, sleep and exercise to calculate your stress score. You can also subscribe to Fitbit Premium which for $7.99 a month gives you more insight to your stress and helps you manage it. Not only gives you mindfulness and meditations that you can listen to, it also gives you recommendations on your workouts and how to better manage sleep because those factors play such an important part when it comes to trying to get yourself in a good headspace. I like that you can track the data together on the phone. However, the subscription side of it is quite expensive for monitoring how you feel. Jordan, do you think that armed with all of that data, Jamie would relax more or stress out more? I mean, I'd, I'd like to hope that you would chill out a bit more, but I can also see you getting quite obsessive with tracking the data. <laughs> <laughs> Next, I've got another wearable which could help Jamie, but this time it's designed to keep track of his blood pressure more closely. If you just tap start, the Omron Evolve is a clinically validated blood pressure monitor which connects to your phone via Bluetooth, costing £94.99. All done now? Yeah, okay. all done? Yeah. So is it come straight up on there then? You'll get first dibs on the screen on the there, it will tell yeah. you, and then having pressed sync in the app, um, that information Whoa. will be relayed to the app. So blood pressure is 145 over 98 which is quite high. Yeah, I mean, you already know that from, from experience and it's, it's confirmed in-app here. It does say grade one hypertension. Each time you take a reading, the app logs it, which you can share with your doctor or simply keep track of yourself. And like the Fitbit, there's a premium subscription on offer for $6.99 a month, which gives more detailed analytics that they say encourages healthier habits. So what's the price of the Omron blood pressure monitor? So currently it's $94.99. Wow, really good. Would you find it a benefit? I definitely would, yeah. I'd be using this morning throughout the day mm. and then I'd take it in the evening as well so I've got the data collected on the phone. Yeah, and it's quite simple. Just whack it on, press go. So with options to keep an eye on Jamie's stress and blood pressure levels presented, last we're going to see how we can chill Jamie out after a hard day running his business. We are taking it back to basics. This is Breathwork, and it is a breathing exercise app. The Breathwork app is a tool designed to decrease stress and anxiety by helping you focus on your breathing. While it's free to download, accessing its full suite of hundreds of classes starts at £5 a month, but they say you can feel the benefits of them in as little as 60 seconds. One of my favourite features is that you can build up a daily schedule. So you can wake up to a little bit of breath work, maybe whilst at work, you can do a mindfulness exercise, and then in the evening, you can find something that helps you go into a deep sleep. Should we just try one now? You very simply just want to follow what it's telling you to do. The company behind the app says research has shown controlled breathing can not only regulate stress levels, but also improve your mood, decrease fatigue, and even lower blood pressure. And it comes with the common music as well. Not only do you get audio cues, but you also get vibrational feedback, so you can still follow the rhythm of the session with your eyes closed. It made me stop and practice on the breathing, but I'm... Probably, I want 
the hard data. I want to see it on my phone. Jordan, I'm sensing that he's not completely on board with, with the breathing side of things. Do you think maybe it would help if Jamie tapped into his meditative practice a bit more? I think it would help. I think it would, you know, it gets you away, it gives you focus on one thing, even if it is for 30 seconds. Yeah, I mean, I'm willing to try it, definitely. If anything's going to help, without a doubt. So, three gadgets and three quite positive outcomes. Question is, which is Jamie's favourite? Will it be the stress tracker from wearable giant Fitbit? Or will it be the medically certified blood pressure monitor which talks to your phone? Or will the back to basics approach win out? The breathing app from Breathwork. I'd say probably for the purpose of accurate medical reading yeah. would be the second one. Yeah, the Omron uh, blood pressure monitor definitely just as big and as bulky as it is and you would always have to put it on the the readings are just so much more accurate. Straight to your phone, you can give this to your GP. I'll take it to work with me. I'll use it in the evenings um, just so I can get the best accurate readings at the end of the week on my phone. Absolutely. I am so pleased. Yeah. I'm glad that's actually going to make a big impact in your life. Absolutely. Yeah.